the Driven project has been one of the UK's most exciting autonomy projects. It's a project that's been funded by CCAV and Innovate on one hand and a group of industrial companies on the other hand. And together we've been working to put fleets of autonomous vehicles on the streets of Oxford and London. So what have, what have we learned in particular? Well, I think we've learned, uh, there's, there's a lot of technical learning in there, the way in which, for example, we use multiple sensors, laser, radar, and vision. Uh, we've learned about the complexity of traffic in, in British cities, that's been fantastic. Um, and we've learned how to make the autonomy system super slim, how to make it very energy efficient so it runs on a very small computer on the back of a car, and that's been an extraordinary thing that's helped us commercially immensely. What comes next uh, for autonomous vehicles globally is global. Um, uh, I think it's really important to understand where this technology will appear. It won't necessarily just be in, in, in personally owned cars or geofence mobility. It will appear in many locations and in many domains around the world. The Driven project itself it will come to an end at the end of this year after a successful demonstration in London. Um, following that, there are other, part, other projects that the partners are engaged in, for example, the Endeavour project that Oxbotica has entered along with um, Nominet and Addison Lee. But I think one of the key, key outcomes from this project has been commercialisation and exploitation plans from each of the partners. And from the developments each one of them has made, they'll be then taking those on to future products and services that we can then leverage and export globally. <laughs>